clutch of eggs from my pastel female three, as you can see here. Uh, she was mated to my pinstripe male and my super pastel male. And it looks like it is the super pastel, the father. This is the first egg here to pip on its own. Once this one, see how it's sliced several times. I went ahead and did this one, then that one, I cut this one and this one. These last two look like they may just be super pastels. I'm not sure if you can see the colors in here, the fading and the blushing. But they are a little bit lighter than this one. But I'll be able to tell more as I get out the egg further. This is all I'm going to do. As you see, I cut the windows in the egg, which is not harmful. They're due to cut anyways. This saves them from drowning or suffocating. Uh, see, this one's kind of darker. You see right here is the blood vessels. Make sure you can get it in the light. There we go. I did this outside so I can get some good lighting for y'all. Right there is a blood vessel. I cut the eggshell at the very top so as to avoid the blood vessels and the snake itself. See, this one is much lighter. As well as this one. Oops. There. And these are on the paper substrate because I transform, transfer them from the nesting box, which is perlite and a lighting diffuser on top of it to keep them off the dry method. A few days before they hatch out, I put them on newspaper and I recycle the boxes for the next egg. It keeps, basically keeps all this yolk and inside stuff from dripping down into the perlite and having to rinse it and go through all the extra cleaning. Um, plus it keeps the perlite and stuff off the snakes, which I'm not too keen on them touching it anyways. But there we go. This is my latest hat clutch to hatch out. Thank you.